Aquarius, <sighs> Sam Rock Tarot, general reading, rules can be reversed, may not resonate. Aquarius, hello. Oh, it's been a while since you've asked for a message. How are you? I moved, I got a new Facebook page, I'm not, that's all. Um, <clears throat> daughter's gonna go to school out here in Monroeville. It's a better school. It's a blue ribbon school and uh, she ranked silver in the nation nationals. So, <sighs> your mom never came through because she got reincarnated right away. I guess someone had a baby in your family doesn't matter with the star seeds if it's a boy or a girl sometimes there's two souls in the same body the masculine and the feminine so if it's a boy then the boy would be the dominant and the feminine would be you know nothing you can do about that pray to God You're supposed to be connecting with God in your faith Don't roll your eyes. Partnership. Completion on some relationships. You're working out of your south node still. So you gotta look up your chart. Look up Lithid. Lithid birth chart. Find out where your south node is. And you need to get out of that and get, get up into your north node. Uh, messages are first come, first serve. And, or cash apps open for gratitude if you want to jump the line. There's an eclipse coming up in November, I think. That would be very important to you. What are you clipping in your life and what are you clipping out? Obviously, these partnerships that aren't working for you. Lots of Cancer energy, Mother. That's Mother Feminine Earth energy. Sagittarius. Also, you still got a lot of people in your energy. <sighs> Alright, you need to calm down. Yeah, we have a soggy, soggy um, summer. Just part of Pittsburgh. You never know what you're going to get ground is sinking you're used to hitting that hard rock there or the clay and it's you know it's sinking it's getting softer so you're not finding that that's what is frustrating you you just have to go down as far as where it doesn't move anymore that would be engineering degree rock formation that's science There's more to your work than just, you know, putting up a pretty deck. Empress. Okay, well, that's good. Death. Ending situations. Looking at your future. There's still a block here, though. You're crying and upset about something. You need to stop letting the death pull you down. I just lost somebody. My boyfriend just died. Very hard, sudden death. You need to, I lost everybody, my parents, my grandparents, my best friend, everybody. Now my lover, I suffered through them all. Almost lost my brother, almost lost my daughter. <sighs> There's nothing you can do about the death. You need to stop letting it pull you down. You need to keep yourself up. Okay, that's this. Keeping your head up, keeping our head up, you know, uh, Tupac. Don't let it pull you down. High Priestess energy, Pisces. Yeah, you're still stuck in emotions over this. Stop writing around for her. She's reincarnated already. That means she's a very good person. You need to let everything go. Any fights, anything, just let it all go. Your sorries, you know, you want to tell her you're sorry, you know, she knows. They move very fast up there. OK, 
Okay, moving on from the death. Queen of Pentacles. Having a tower of this person you thought was an empress, your ex, I'm assuming. Yeah, there was no balance in the relationship with the energy. So justice got called. She's doing magic on you. You're having a tower over this. Yeah, she just cared about material items. And you were committed to her. You still want to restore peace with her, but there's th third party interference. There's no love on the table here. Just emotion. Crying. Maybe she is an empress, maybe she isn't. An empress means they embody all four all four queens. Yeah, this Virgo here. What do you know? Well, whatever happened, her spells got broken and put you at a crossroad. Do you want to put up with this, put you in two minds, or don't you? There's no balance in the energy. Here's the love. You love her, but does she love you? This was a wish fulfillment. Yeah, romance, victory, and success. Here's the emotions. Okay, well, that's all you. If she has magic on you, it's not real. There's a divine block put on it. There's nothing you can do. That's what you're feeling, a block, the block. Once they keep putting blocks on stuff, it damages the connection. So you were starting to feel all the blocks that she was putting when she was cheating on you or talking to other people, whatever she's doing. I'm not going to channel it because it's just negative. It damages the connection. So you started feeling all the blocks and then the divine was like, okay, you don't deserve this. And they put a divine block on it. doesn't matter if you love her or whatever. Yeah, of course you love her. You're a good guy. You always loved her. It's time to move forward. She's not serious about the commitment. You know? Yeah, you want a family, you want kids, and no, 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 no. Well, not, you know, sometimes that just doesn't happen. You need to focus on your work. There's more to your work that, that they want you to see. Use your intuition and move forward. There's work right there. Okay? Yeah, there's the completion there of the world, Saturn. Stop labeling your relationships. I want a family. I want this. I want that. I mean, how old are you? My kids are already grown. Somebody tells me they have kids. I'm like, ah, I see you. Don't run in the other way. And mine are 20 and 13. It's nice, you know, being able to go out. Don't have to worry about being home on a time frame. Imagine a baby crying all night long. What are you going to do? Hmm? She's going to keep coming back for apologies. She's just going to, you know, it's never going to end. She operates out of page energy. It's never going to end. You're the one that needs to put a block on it. This is sexually frustrated. Someone's sexually frustrated. There's the two of cups. This divine union here. Well, confront her about the magic. Of course she's going to deny it and lie. And you're going to see her lie face. Do it when you're sober. Do it in the morning, you know, when you're sitting there having coffee or breakfast. Look her dead in the eye. I mean, do you love her? Do you even know her? Obviously not. I mean, she's doing all this magic right behind your back, right in the house, too, on top of it. Now you got to move. Yeah, choice between loves. Unfulfilled success. Complete failure. Jealousy, rage. She might be trying to make you jealous. Look, I mean, she just took over your reading. Yeah, this is all over sex. This higher level of commitment. You're not listening to your higher self. You're not following your intuition. There's a Taurus involved. This is Michael shutting this all down for you, too. They pulled you up. They shot her down. You need to take what you got from it and move forward. Whether you like it or not, they threw you in the boat. Yeah, this person, she's from your past. She's considered from your past. You're at the doorway now. Here's judgment. Karmic judgment. You're lucky. There was some kind of happiness here. You need to get out of your head. Yeah, here's the devil right here. It's all over money and material items. It's giving me a freaking headache, or you're giving me a headache. Somebody is a hot mess. I'm done. I'm not channeling her through here. I'm not carrying your headaches. It's not my problem. Get the stress out of your life. 
You really want to go to work all day worrying about if someone's cheating on you in your home, behind your back, in your bed? I mean, come on now. Is that really how you want to live? Because you want a family and kids? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Do what you want. You're human. Here's a magician again. I almost said Taurus. <clears throat> the world completion confirmed twice yes magic just being sneaky behind your back I need to put this to death the coffin energy let me learn how to stick up for yourself stop being such a pansy you're a good guy you have an open heart you need to learn how to live with that you need to focus on your money and um, saving for the future. The doorway's here. If you don't make up your mind, they're going to push you through it. We're going to be going through two big retrogrades. Here you are, all, still looking at the past. If you turn around, there, there's the angel there, ready to give you a new beginning. But, you know, you need to go through the door. You want to stand there in the dark? Go right ahead. Yeah, you got to drop this burden. As soon as you make up your mind, the the doorways here. Wise counsel. Hierophant twice. Um, Taurus confirmed three times here. Yeah, you need to ask for divine help. Find people that are like-minded in your community. Some kind of new ideas to see what works best for you. I guess there's some stuff with work, like I said at the beginning. <clears throat> yeah, you need to look at your options. Get out of the illusion and start looking at your options. Man the fuck up. Get on with your life. Here's your ego. Okay? Your ego's like, oh, I love her. I want to stay with her. I'm a pansy. I'm going to put up with this fucking bullshit. I told you what to do. You can re listen to this. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. I'm not a broken mess, broken recording. I, this is not a recording. This is real. I'm a real person this life. It's 66, moving forward. Whether you like it or not, they threw you in the boat. Collaborating, and that's the truth. It's time to move on. Go ahead, jump out of the boat and get stuck in Pisces energy and water and cancer. And you'll be stuck in the reflection and the illusion energy. Choice is yours. You got two paths ahead. Start your new life or be stuck in an illusion. That is it. Aquarius, please. Yeah, healing. Heal yourself. You're at a crossroads over this. Go towards healing. You gotta learn how to live with a broken heart. It's part of life. My heart's broken too. Nine of Pentacles. Yes. Worry about yourself. The fruits of your own labor. Clean of yeah, your failings. Moving forward. Six six six. What do you know? The devil in disguise. Karmic will. This person's going on a karmic will. And all she cares about is money. Everything's hidden from you. Definitely magic. Um yeah, she's doing magic behind your back. You better be careful. Here's the new moon coming up in Leo. Um, just going to try and finesse, you know, romance again with you. But once you make the conscience shift to, you know, change this, yeah, she's going to manifest sex and romance with you again. You need to take this lesson and go with it. She's a beggar. She's considered a beggar. Is she not working? Oh, she's blaming location. Okay, whatever. You can get a job anywhere being a cashier. And she's causing drama in your life and judgments here. And it's the same message over and over again. You literally got 666 here in disguise. Devil's hiding. Truth again. <clears throat> Every layer. Sword of truth. Closing oracles, please. I almost said Pisces. There's Pisces involved too. Mm -hmm. How do you all have cameras put on? <laughs> oh, wow. 
do what you want. So I've only Taurus came up three times. So time to transform yourself. You're better than I. You don't need to be worrying at work about this stuff. Take control of your life. The king rebirthing yourself. Yes. Aquarius, please. The wasp. Yeah, she's angry and jealous, or you're angry and jealous. Don't let this get the best of you. It's time to giddy on up with your life. Yeah, you have a project that you're trying to work on, but you can't focus. You need to manifest. Your magic's going into rebalancing yourself. Letting go of this. The dragon. Here's the king again. Taking authority of your life. Sexual energy pertaining to the law and justice. Closing oracles for Aquarius, please. You and your loved ones are safe. Oops. Be gentle with yourself. <clears throat> Go forward fearlessly. That is the dragon energy. I'll talk to you later. Bye.